Hey. We're here with Coach Horton. Coach, uh, hey. you know, your roots are in Southern California yeah. here. It's good to be back seeing you uh, in Southern California. Um, talk a little bit about this Oregon team uh, this year and, and what we can expect from um, out here at Long Beach State this weekend. Well, great to be back here in Southern California, Blair Field. A lot of great battles here, obviously. When I was growing up, I played here and then coaching at Cerritos. We played some state championships here. Sure. Of course, the Fullerton Long Beach rivalry is one of the special ones, I think, in, in the country. And now that I'm at the University of Oregon, we have a little uh, different kind of rivalry with Oregon State and the Beavers. And I didn't grow up in that uh, testy environment, but the generations of Civil War bitterness and rivalry in it, kind of in a bigger scale statewide, it reminds me of the Fullerton Long Beach uh, rivalry. And mm -hmm. so, you know, good friends here. There'll be good friends up in the stands. And I'm proud of this ball club and really kind of the culture that we've established for the last two years. And right now we're not playing very well. We're four and four and felt like we've uh, underachieved a little bit and played a little under our capabilities. But I think this group uh, has developed a, a sense of culture and hard work and obviously talent. We've had three good recruiting classes in a row. And uh, I, I expect big things out of this group. And uh, we're real honored to be representing the University of Oregon. We've got uh, some special facilities up there, the student athlete experience, uh, and hopefully we can build on last year's success of being a, a playoff worthy team and earn our way into being uh, at the top of the Pac-10 and maybe host regionals and win some regionals and super regionals and make our way to Omaha. That's the master plan. You know, you've able, been able to kind of just take this program, you know, from nothing basically to back to putting it on the map um, and, and kind of on a national scene. You know, what are some of those key pieces that you have to do when you're, you're going into a new place and taking over a program? You know, what are some of the, the factors that you, you got to get in place? Well, it starts with good players. And mm -hmm. when you have to recruit an entire team, you can't be quite as selective with makeup and you accept everybody. And mm -hmm. uh, Coach Chackets and Coach Gill, actually, who's at Loyola Marymount, started the process. and left their families and hit the road and recruiting all over the country and uh, now Coach Kirby's taking Coach Gill's spot and they're scouring the country and we've got guys from Pennsylvania, Florida, Minnesota, Idaho, a lot of our recruiting bases in California because th that's where I'm from and the coaches are from and that's where our network of foundation coaches are from. and. Um, you know, we didn't have a baseball, we didn't have a bat, we didn't have a glove, we didn't have a field, and that was one of the build, uh, one of the challenges to building the program inceptually was we were practicing at high schools and the weather up there is not like Southern California, so the facilities not being covered, not being turf, uh, sometimes put hiccups in the development process, but now uh, our facility's up and running, it's a great facility, it's, I think it's one of the best in the country, we've got an indoor venue, we've got AstroTurf in our batting cages, which is one of the largest in the in the country. And uh, we haven't missed one inning of one game in scheduling uh, for mm -hmm. rainouts. And so the, uh, the experience up there really, even though it rains and it's a little chillier than Southern California, is a, a really good environment for kids to come and learn and develop. And uh, like when we recruit them, uh, I believe that we're going to take a club in the near future to the College World Series and win a national championship. And I look them in the eye and promise them that they're going to go there. And I think they trust uh, my track record has proven that we're able to do that in, in programs and my coaching staffs. And there's that trust from the kids coming up from California to go up there that we're going to do something special. You know, is, is the experience similar? You know, obviously you're at Fullerton for a long time. Is the experience similar to a Fullerton experience up there? I mean, or is it uh, a completely different ball game with uh, just kind of the, the national spotlight of the football program and everything that's going on up it's there? It's a different. You're in a fishbowl. I go to the doctor. They don't even ask my name because, you know, you're here in Southern California. You're sharing the media spots with a lot of other teams and colleges and high schools and pro teams. And, and up there, we're, we're the pro team. And so. You're on the news every night. And you're in the front page of the sports section every night. And you're do, uh, the first day that we practiced uh, two years ago. I walked out for the first practice, and there's six TV cameras. And I laughed. I said to my assistants, "I said, what are you laughing?" They said, "What are you laughing?" I said, "Heck, we used to have to go to Omaha to get this many cameras out, and there'd only be one. We'd have to beg a news station to come out and do some coverage on us." And so you know, you know, it, it, there's a lot of energy. There's a lot of passion. 
in the state of Oregon, you're either a Beaver fan or a Duck fan, and it's very, very passionate. I, I wouldn't trade our fans for any in the world, although the Titan Nation certainly was near and dear to me. And it was a, it was a different climate and a different kind of respect, I guess, we got from the Orange County community and the student body at Fullerton than we get it in Oregon. But it's it's some, something to behold up there. It's it's really special being a Duck. You know, last question. You've been around Southern California so long. You've you've you coached with a lot of the greats, the Greedos, the Snows. You know, talk about some of those influences on your career, and um, you know, what what'd you learn from those guys, or and what did you take from? Them? Well, I've been blessed. I played for Wally Kincaid out of high school, and then from Cerritos, I went to play at Cal State Fullerton for Augie Garrido and Dave Snow, and played with Don Snedden at Cerritos and in Cal State Fullerton, coached with Ben Hines, and a lot of greats coaching against the likes of Mike Gillespie and many, many others, Mark Marcus. As I've often said in clinics, you'd have to be a blooming idiot not to have picked up some things from those guys. And I just feel very fortunate that I uh, chose the right places to play, learned from the best in the industry, tried to put George Horton's style and philosophy into that. and. And then all the many, many uh, great young coaches that I coach with that were part of my staff and are now running their own program, we've all grown together and advanced together. And it's, uh, you know, who would have thunk a left-handed catcher from Downey High School would have made a career out of coaching baseball. And it's really been a blessing to, to have these kind of opportunities. Coach, uh, thanks a lot for your time. I appreciate it. And I look forward to watching the Ducks this weekend. Thanks, Blair. Go Ducks. <laughs> hey.